All right. As you can clearly see, I am a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. I would like to transfer the clarity upon all my listeners out there regarding those facts of life. Now, my views on Antonio Brown, they're not very good, first of all. Allow me to put some clarity on this issue regarding how we feel about the Antonio Brown situation here in Allegheny County, in western Pennsylvania, in this side of the state, and the Pittsburgh area. We dislike him a great deal. Okay? We also dislike the New England Patriots a great deal. Matter of fact, we Pittsburghers hate the New England Patriots. Okay. Now, since Antonio Brown has joined that evil regime, we also hate him. That's how we feel. You want to know how we feel around here about him? That's how we feel. That's how serious people around here are about that. We hate his guts. We hate Tom Brady's guts. We hate the New England Patriots football team's guts. There's actually people here that would love to see their plane crash and the entire football team get killed. I am not one of them. I, I don't wish that that far but there is people around here that wish that. I, I don't really, I don't wish harm on them whatsoever. I just, I want them to lose. Now, um, the Steelers' worst nightmare has happened. He, Antonio Brown, has went to the New England Patriots. The worst possible thing that could possibly happen, happened. Now, I told my wife this earlier. I said, I bet you they're going to get him in a goddamn uniform before Sunday, and he's going to be playing against the Steelers on Sunday. The Steelers play the, new, the very first game of the year is against the New England Patriots, their nemesis. I'll bet you, man, they're going to have Antonio Brown suited up, ready to play, and they're going to whoop the Steelers, and he's going to just love that. He's going to love that. You know, man, in order for the Steelers to beat the New England Patriots now, now they're going to have to really get their act together, Jack. If they want to beat the New England Patriots, Steelers want to, if the Steelers want to beat the New England Patriots right now, they're going to have to get their act together, man. For show. Sure. You feel me? Alright? You feel me? You understand what I'm talking about? You understand English? You know where Amer you know where the United States of America is? You know where it is? We're located in between Canada and Mexico. Did you ever hear that? Well, that's where I am. That's the country I live in. I don't know if you ever heard of it before, but that's where I'm located. Alright? You know, it's not going to be an easy thing for them to beat the New England. It wasn't an easy thing for them to beat them before. You understand what I'm talking about? And it's not going to be an easy thing for the beat for them to beat them now. All right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm talking about? But you guys want to know how we feel about Antonio Brown? We hate his dang guts. What I think should have happened with the Steelers and Antonio Brown is they should have just paid him what he wanted. They should have kept the cat, paid him what he wanted, throw the ball to him. What he wants is he wants the ball thrown to him all the time. He wants to get his stats up. He wants to be the greatest receiver of all time. They should have just did it. Got a Super Bowl out of the dude, and then you get rid of him. 
But too late for that. It's done. Let me tell you something about the Roonies. They're cheap. They've always been cheapskates. They've always been El Cheapos, man. They try to get something with nothing. That's how they got Terry Bradshaw. They got Terry Bradshaw with chunk change. That's how they got him. They always try to build the football team with chunk change. They don't want to pay these players the way everyone else pays them. Because they are cheap. Case closed. Hammer down.